Hey guys, welcome to Beginner Bits. In this video, we are going to understand the data types of Python. So let's dive in. Let's open the folder in VS Code and we will create the file here 0 to underscore data types dot py there are five standard data types in python let's talk about the first one the first one is a string the short form is str let me grab my note so in python strings are used for representing textual data a string is a sequence of characters enclosed in either single quotes or double quotes. So anything inside this double quote or single quote will be count as a string. Even if we input a number inside this double quotation or single quote, it will be count as a string. Then we have a integer. Short form is int let's say b equals to 44 let me grab my note so integer is a whole number positive or negative without decimals of unlimited length so it's pretty straightforward it's basically number then we have the floating point numbers short form is float let's say c equal to 45.23 let me grab my note here floating point numbers are decimal values or fractional numbers like this this or this whereas real numbers like 56 2 and 33 are called integers we have already seen here now the third type is boolean let's say d equals to true this can be false let me grab my note so boolean means a result that can only have one of two possible values true or false boolean logic takes two statements or expressions and applies a logical operator to generate a boolean value that can be either true or false to simply put let's say there is a statement like one greater than two and if we try to print that the output will be either true or false in this case one is not greater than two so output will be false this way the boolean works then the last one the last one is none type let's say e equals to none let me grab the note so here none is a unique and special data type in python it's not a number it's not a string it's not a boolean it's simply none the none keyword is used to define a null value or no value at all it is not the same as zero false or an empty string so basically uh, we can't use false here because false means negative but if we want to say there's nothing then we will use none hope you understand so that's it for today's video and if this video helped you consider subscribing and see you in the next one bye